Maxwell Cornet pounces late for Burnley to pile misery on endangered Everton. The last time Everton were not in the top flight, Winston Churchill was Prime Minister. Ever presents among the elite since 1954. They have rarely been in such trouble since. Now, with Manchester United, Leicester, Liverpool and Chelsea next, a club who had Champions League aspirations may soon be found below the dotted line. When Richarlison scored his second penalty, they were set to have a seven-point cushion on Burnley and the bottom three. Instead, a comeback capped by Maxwell Cornet means half an hour affected a six-point swing, leaving Burnley looking rejuvenated and Everton in danger. If we didn't know we were in a fight before then, we certainly know now, Frank Lampard said after a harrowing night. He looked brown-beaten and beleaguered in the swirling rain at Turf Moor as a wretched record was extended. Everton are yet to pick up a point on the road under him, and their sixth successive away defeat may be the costliest yet. Sean Ditch galvanized his team by citing Everton's sorry statistics, mentioning a meager haul of six points from a possible 42 away from Goodison Park. I said it is for us to go and expose that, he revealed. I said to the players at halftime, I'm not sure they know how to win a game. Neither, arguably, did Burnley, who had won just three of their first 28 matches this season. Now the trip to Norwich on Sunday provides a chance for two victories in five days. Their fortunes certainly changed in front of goal. After scoring three times in 11 games, Burnley scored three in one evening. Indirectly, their manager was a contributor. Ditch showed a golden touch. He recalled Nathan Collins, Jay Rodriguez and Cornet and each scored. The Avorian also had an assist. So did Matej Vidra, the substitute he sent on as he sought a winner. Ditch had picked an unusually attacking lineup, crowboring Cornet in on the left wing and was vindicated. Burnley beat Everton, but once again Everton beat themselves. We lost points we should have gained, Lampard said. The goals are goals we shouldn't concede. Mistakes are mistakes. They are far too frequent. Alex Iwobai was culpable for West Ham's winner at the weekend and was again at fault for Burnley's opener. Failing to track Collins as he volleyed in Cornet's corner. Set-piece problems are a familiar failing. The third was the consequence of two slices. The first from Jordan Pickford, gifting Burnley a throw, the second by Ben Godfrey finding Vidra. He cut the ball back for Cornet to finish emphatically. We know Maxwell can score a goal, said Ditch. Dwight McNeil, who has not scored all season, was dropped. Rodriguez's goals have also been rarities but his second in 39 lead matches was Burnley's equalizer, the lifelong Burnley fan timing his run into the box to meet Charlie Taylor's low cross. Cornet's winner made this the first time Burnley had scored first in a Premier League game, lost their lead and gone on to win. It was proof of character. They recaptured the spirit they lacked against Manchester City on Saturday. Turf Moor has rarely been as raucous recently and Burnley responded. They subjected Everton's callow defence to heavy pressure. The visitors will have rued the absence of Michael Keane and Allen through suspension and Burnley's relentlessness reaped a reward in an entertaining error-riddled thriller. Their storming finish ensured a remarkable performance by Richarlison was in vain. The Brazilian seemed on a one-man mission to save Everton. He had an overhead kick parried by Nick Pope, clipped the woodwork with a drive, and after John Joe Kenny's cross took flight and struck the far post, almost converted the rebound. He tormented Connor Roberts. He was both brilliant and profligate. He ended a 10-game goal drought by converting two spot kicks, the first award when Ashley Westwood needlessly tugged Anthony Gordon, the second, after Mike Dean reviewed it on the monitor, when Aaron Lennon caught Vital at Michaelenko. Both were disputed by Ditch. The first one is a bundle when he could run and get the ball. The second, my bigger picture, is that players have never been more agile, more athletic, more lean, more fit, but one tap on the foot, and then they are gone. Lampert had graver concerns. There are nine games where we have to give absolutely everything. Every ounce that we had, he said. But this was a night when Everton were again rather too generous in their gifts.